the way I described it at the time was ban. Mm -hmm. Everybody was going about their daily, their usual routine, and bang, there was an explosion. We always made sure there were no bags floating around the stern if you had to manoeuvre the boat. And I mean, the check was done all clear, and there were some of the bags that, 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 would, that would sink slower than others. And the, the, we were going to do some f what they called floaters astern of us, and when the skipper came to go astern to get these floaters, and just bang, that was it. It's somewhere in your mind you knew what had happened, but it was still, you know, what, what happened? And just and it was just a case of, uh, again, procedure. The, the first thing we had to do, the engine was still running, but we had no, uh, no electric, because when I went down into the engine room, uh, the blast from the back of the ship had hit the fuse board, was on the after bulkhead of the engine room, and it threw all the fuses out. Mm -hmm. So I had to, it was like something at the generation game. You're standing with a bucket of fuses and I had to decide, do we need, right, that's the main fuse, we need that, that's the other main fuse, we need that, right, that's power to the accommodation, we don't need that, there's nobody in there. Power to the bridge, sort of put in the bridge and, and the fuses and then, you know, shout up. Is, 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 so, we, so the radio was working. Mm -hmm. So the skipper could then contact the Coast Guards uh, and then it was basically checked we were only sinking.